Hi guys! If you're looking for a perfect brew from Paradise Island, we've just found the spot. Because Dilma has just launched its cafe brew, 1867, which is not just great for chilling, but also a flexible working spot and a lounge. So let's go check it out. I'm Tatiana and you are with Pulse. We are here with the CEO of Dilma, Dilhan Fernando. So tell me, what are the special features of this place? Well, you know, Brew, its most special feature is its ambience. It's about, uh, it has a very youthful vibe. It's uh, targeting Gen Z. It's colorful, as you can see. It's about relaxation. And it's also about good food. So here we have signature food. Okay, some not so good, like our beautiful desserts, which are incredible. We have a, a signature chocolate biscuit pudding, which is varied uh, for, for brew. We have tea-inspired affogato. We have beautiful teas. But the idea is to use good ingredients. We have our own central kitchen. We have our staff who are specifically briefed on the requirement that goes into every Dilma product, which is taste goodness and purpose so really what someone could expect in coming here would be a great breakfast it could be something from the yogurts to the fruits to the morning uh, special breakfast pots uh, good lunch it's not going to be it's not a comprehensive it's not a large uh, a restaurant typically restaurant it's a place where you can have light salads um, sandwiches and so much more beverages you have incredible uh, options so what makes this place stand out from the other cafes, like the special features of this cafe? Well, I think at Brew, what we try to do is to combine what is healthy with what is indulgent. So you have, uh, in addition to the Sri Lankan ingredients that we use as a base for a lot of our smoothies, ice creams, yogurts, and so on, you also have uh, the healthy smoothies, which are Ayurveda inspired, using ingredients like gotukola using, you know, we, we often have guests coming in who want that variety. So you might have three guests coming in, one who is very health conscious, very diet conscious, we have something for that uh, guest. Then you have someone who's very indulgent and is absolutely that couldn't care, wants something rich and delicious, we have something for that. So whether it's breakfast, lunch or dinner, we have the options for, for anyone. But most importantly, I think for us, is the fact that it is inspired by tea. It's also about innovation. So uh, conventionally, yes, of course, we have our ginger tea, which you can have with uh, a piece of uh, kitul. But equally, you also have our tea coladas. You have uh, tea-inspired drinks. You have smoothies. You have tea-inspired fizzes. So, so many different variations on tradition, but also um, indulgent or healthy whichever you wish um, so you have special facilities in this place like the co-working spaces and um, tell me about the facilities that you all offer here well here someone can come they can work as individuals they can come as groups they can have meetings they can book a package that would include food and tea together it could be uh, uh, someone who's, who's having a meeting who could base themselves here for a few hours at a time. So there's lots of different options that uh, guests can have here. So how has the launch been so far? Been really, really good. I mean, this is uh, Brew 1867, which is sort of a grab-and-go concept, and we've got two restaurants already, but this is the first large-scale one. The Compared to the tea lounges, which are purely tea-focused, uh, we understand that some people like to drink coffee, unfortunately, but they do. So this is a combination of tea and coffee, and 1867 is a year that coffee in Ceylon then died and tea emerged. So that's why we call it Brew 1867. So it's designed as a totally indigenous brand with a lot of innovation. You see a lot of coffee bars around which are franchises from overseas. So here this is something uniquely Sri Lankan. You'll find concoctions, recipes that you don't find anywhere else. 
So although the clientele is largely the local market for tourists and for them the biggest problem with Colombo is things to do, attractions and so on, they can go to you know many of the other brands that you see here in their home countries but when they come to brew 1867 they see something uniquely Sri Lankan so they try a lot of food and drinks beverages which are all tea related and there's also a bit of a learning here about the history of tea and the history of Ceylon coffee so I think it's something that will add a huge amount of value to local clients uh, who are looking for something different from the ubiquitous kind of lounges that you have as well as for tourists who are looking for something uniquely Sri Lankan. So this is going to be like a huge hit for tourism and it's going to help? I think so. I mean, Brew 1867 in one year, we've just opened three. We're not going to be Starbucks and open hundreds of outlets. But the idea is that we'll, you know, double and triple in size year on year. It's very good value and it's a nice hangout space. And it, it's something which is entirely locally innovated in terms of the recipes. And we are um, putting Ceylon tea and Ceylon coffee, our own indigenous coffee, which is of a very good quality. We're putting that front and foremost. So I think it will be very attractive for tourists as well. Kuravita. Please tell me, what do you think of the food of this place? Well, I've had a lot to do with it, so I think it's okay. But um, I think what the, the, the amazing thing about this concept is grab and go. And we're starting to bring in partners who are producing amazing food, as well as a central kitchen that is dedicated to bringing healthy, great flavoured food to the people. And it's delivered twice a day, it's always fresh, and the variety is amazing. Great. Um, so what have you been thinking about the launch so far? How is it going? I guess it just proves that this is Sri Lanka's been waiting for this. Sri Lanka's been asking for something like this. A concept where you can, I mean, there's people already walk, coming in, we've just opened, coming in and walking out the door because it's, 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 a, it's modern lifestyle, right? We don't have time to sit in the black kitchen and cook 10 curries and everything. Now we've got options healthy, tasty food of many different, like we've got kombucha, good for your gut health. Then we've got sweets, which is good for your mental health, I guess. And there's, you know, the traditional curries and a whole range of healthy drinks. So I think this is the way of the future for Colombo. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To keep up with Pulse of Sri Lanka, subscribe to our channel here. Catch our latest videos here and here. Keep living it.